Hi everyone, thank you so much for making it through all the training that we've had over the last several weeks. Today I have one last piece of advice for you. If you can get anything from this training, the most important thing I could tell you is that you need to be consistent in your business. I can say this because for the first 18 months of me being a coach, I was not consistent. I treated this business like a hobby. And when you treat something like a hobby, it doesn't really grow like a business. I sat and around and I had every excuse in the book of why my business wasn't working for me. And when my life got crazy and hectic, it was the first thing that I abandoned. Um, my family moved and my husband got out of the Air Force. And I had a recommitment to my business because I realized that this would be a way that I could provide for our family. And so from that day, I have made it my goal to be consistent in my business. And this is how I stay consistent in my business. One, I treat it like a business. So every day I have hours that are set for working. I don't just work when I can. I actually set hours every day, whether it be one hour, two hour, do what you can to set a set time that you'll be working every day. You might not be able to commit to very much at first, but set a commitment and a committed time each day where you will be working your business and tell the people that are in your family not to interrupt you because you are at work. I will say this can be very hard at times because I'm a mom and I have three kids, so when I set my business hours, I get interrupted a lot. But the more consistent I've been, the more I've been able to get my husband on board so he's a lot more helpful. The next thing that has really helped me stay consistent is that I'm continuing to invite people every single day. I invite people to my challenge groups. I am constantly looking for new contacts and new friends, new people that I can help. So that I'm following that in vital behavior of inviting people every day. It's not the it's not just the first vital behavior by coincidence. Inviting people to your challenge groups, to the business opportunity, to anything that you have going on is one of the most important things that you can do for your business. Your business isn't going to grow if you're not reaching out trying to help people. Also, you need to be a product of the product. This is very important to me and it helps me stay consistent. I know that when I'm consistently drinking my Shakeology and I'm consistently working out to the programs, I'm being a better coach and I'm a better example to others. The other one um, that really helps me stay consistent and has helped my business grow is to focus on personal development. Now I really dismissed this particular vital behavior for a really long time, but when I made the commitment that I was going to be consistent in my business, I also decided, hey, this is a vital behavior for a reason and I'm going to give it a try. And so since then I've probably read 12 to 15 books of different things to help me grow as a person. And I can't say enough about how important it is to invest in yourself every day for at least 10 minutes a day, whether it is to do training so you can learn how to be a better coach, whether it is to dive into a book or a podcast so that you can learn something <clears throat> new every day. The more information and knowledge that you can absorb, the better you will be as a person to help other people. Um, Lastly, it's very important that you're hitting Success Club every single month. I've said this so many times that I hope you're like, oh, she's really talking about this again. But it's really that important. I can say that for me personally, when I've made the commitment to make Success Club every single month, my business has grown, my income has grown, the people that I've helped has grown, and it's just having that one small goal every month to meet really keeps me focused and drives me to succeed every single month. Um, but really, the, the thing is, is you have to make a decision that you are all in for this business. And I had to go through a lot of time and a lot of trial and error before I was able to make that commitment for myself. But really, it all boils down to the decision, hey, I'm in this, this is my business, and I'm going to work it.